an embarrassment for City A, I think, and for the league, because you got health authorities on one side saying um, these games, these four games in this case, couldn't go ahead. City A said, no, no, we're not postponing them. So obviously the health authorities went out. Um, teams had to show up and kick off at an empty stadium. Um, the opposition weren't allowed to travel because the health situation forfeit the game. Obviously, that's not going to stand. Uh, they should have had a plan for this. They could have made a plan a week ago. Now they're going to try to figure things out. I think it's pretty much a given uh, that uh, there's going to be more games uh, suspended or postponed this weekend. Uh, and it's as high as 16% of Serie A players have tested positive for COVID. Right. Well, Milan did beat Roma 3-1 today, and this game had goals, it had controversy, it had lots of cards as well, but it was a win for Milan. Were they good for it? I think so, and this was, a, this was an understrength for Milan. They had a ton of players missing, obviously, Fran Kessie at the, at the Cup of Nations. They had half their starting defence out. Um, a lot of guys absent, and still... Um, they went out there, they, they, they scored early, uh, late on they could have made it four, Giroud missing a penalty. Roma, two players sent off, Rick Karsdorp couldn't handle Theo Hernandez, uh, and then later Mancini on, on the break as well. Roma having a really, really poor game, one of the worst games uh, that we've seen this season, I think, uh, under Jose Mourinho. And it's a bit surprising because in many ways, Milan on paper should have been there for the, uh, the taking. Instead, now they're one point behind uh, Inter, who of course have a game in hand. Uh, with everything you were just talking about as well, when we talk about the other game, Juve taking on Napoli, big talking point before it is whether it even would go ahead. It did go ahead. It finished 1-1. Was it a fair result? Finish 1-1 for now because we don't know because three Napoli players who, uh, uh, again, the health authority said they had to isolate. Instead, they went out and uh, uh, they played uh, Rahmani, Lubaka, and, and Zielinski. Um, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a good game. Napoli played really, really well. Napoli also a ton of players out, uh, at least five starters out. Um, but they, they put on a good show. They, they, they took the lead. Federico Chiesa scoring his first goal at the Allianz, I think since March uh, of last year, uh, helping to turn things around. Uh, for Juve, if your glass is half full, you have a very long unbeaten streak. If your glass is half empty, uh, you're still not beating the, bi the big teams uh, this season. And that's why, you know, that top four finish, which is so important for them, uh, still looks just out of reach. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.